Hello my viewers, this is Dr. Adishina from ftplectures.com. Today I want to answer a specific question that a lot of high school students have been emailing me across the country and I wanted to uh, explain this in detail so everybody can uh, have a good grasp of this. So this is the question I always get. I'm in high school, I'm in 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, or even 12th grade and I want to be a doctor. But what should I be doing right now in high school to prepare me for medical school? My best advice for you if you're in high school right now, depending on what grade you're in, if you're in 10th or 11th grade, specifically by the time you get to 11th grade, I highly recommend that you're taking AP classes while you're finishing up your high school. That's very, very important because if you're taking AP classes that will challenge you and you can do well on these classes and transfer them when you go to your college. Now this is already preparing you for the mindset and discipline that's required already for medical school. This is from high school. This is going to motivate you to work harder because when you get to college, it will make you work even harder to maintain a very, very high GPA that will lead you towards the journey into medical school. So that's the first thing. Take AP courses in math, English, chemistry, biology. The reason is because when you get to college, once the college you're going to actually accept this course credits, you don't have to take one of those beginner's classes, for example, mathematics. Let's say you take applied mathematics, for example, in high school. You know, starting with algebra wouldn't be a problem. You can even get a chance to start with calculus. So don't be like all the students in your class, okay? Work hard and do and challenge yourself so that you can prepare yourself for college. The second advice I have for you, if you're thinking about going to medical school eventually by the time you finish your college or applying to medical school from high school, is to volunteer in your community. Start to volunteer, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're, you're in your church, you know, if you want to volunteer out there uh, in your community outreach, if you have uh, community events, you know, start to volunteer. The reason for this is because it gives you the sense of giving back to the people you're going to be serving once you get to the your medical career where you're going to actually be giving back to people. So giving you that opportunity to go out there and actually start to volunteer because once you actually get to college, it starts to become a second th norm for you, right? So that when you are actually applying to medical school, you have a lot of volunteer opportunities in the community. That's advice number two. Advice number three, when you're going to college, make sure the college you're going to is well equipped enough to be able to allow you to pursue your dreams to become a physician. Why do I say that? It's because you wanna make sure that the school you're applying to has a lot of pre-medical students and also this will give you an advantage to work with pre-medical advisors when you're applying to medical schools and make sure also the school you're going to apply to from high school definitely and absolutely offer the courses that will allow you to be able to apply to medical school. Now the caveat is most schools in the country actually offer these courses. Now depending on if you're going to a two-year college from high school or a four-year college in high school, if you go to a two-year college from high school, I would strongly advise that you don't take classes like organic chemistry, your physics classes, your biology classes, or even your anatomy and physiology from a two-year college. The reason being that two-year college courses are not looked well upon by medical school. So if you're going to go to a two-year college, that's perfectly fine, but always remember that you want to take the regular classes and you don't want to take the classes that you want to use to apply to medical school. So that's another thought you should have at the back of your mind if you're going through that career route. If you're graduating from high school at 11th grade and you're preparing, I mean in 12th grade, and you're preparing to go to college from then on, make sure when you're taking your college classes and you're taking those math mathematics, English, physics, chemistry, okay, anatomy, physiology, even biochemistry are recommended, and calculus, which is very, it's required, 
make sure you do really well on them when you take them in college. So that's one advice for you if you're preparing your mindset from high school so you know what to expect when you get to college. Also another caveat, number four I want to tell you is when you're about to reach 12th grade, I want you to take the a ACTs. Now the reason I want you to take the ACTs is because it's a standardized test you're going to be taken when you get to 12th grade. Now this is a very actually a general rule I give to high school students because if you take the ACT in 11th grade and you see how you do compared to the rest of the country, you can actually know how much work you need to do when you get to 12th grade. This is another mindset that starts to put you in that path of challenging yourself to be better and push yourself because that is one of the things that's required when you're going to become a doctor because you're going to be doing things an average person would not do. But that's the price you have to pay to become a doctor. Okay. I hope these tips really help you. Remember, most importantly, take AP courses. Number two, make sure you, if you're going to a two-year or four-year colleges, you're taking courses in college. When you actually get to college, you're taking the ones for apply, that you're going to use to apply to medical, medical school. You take it when you are in a four-year college. Okay, it looks much, much better. Okay, so also make sure that you challenge yourself to go out there into the community to do some community service if you can. Okay. And last but not the least is to make sure you always put all your hard work into everything that you're doing so that by the time you get into college, you actually have a good mindset and to stay focused. I hope some of these answers are helpful to a lot of you out there. Okay. So if you're in high school right now, you would really want to go to medical school and you're thinking about it. Last but not least, I have to advise you, get a mentor. That's one key advice also I have to put in there because a mentor will actually help you as you're going from guidance counselor in high school to college where you actually have a pre-medical advisor, okay? So that when you get to a college that has a lot of pre-medical advisors, they'll be able to help you get through the process, okay? Don't forget to click the subscribe button at the top of the page. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to send us emails again and put comments at the bottom of the page. Thank you very much for watching. It's Dr. Adishina again from ftplecture.com, Future Teaching Physicians, where we make medicine simple. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.